What's good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today I got some news updates for you guys. The CEO of eBay has resigned. Now he put out a statement on um, on Twitter so I'll definitely uh, link that in the description so you guys can check that out. He didn't really say uh, too much details or anything like that but of course I'll share that with you guys. I'll probably just put a screenshot of that up here as well just so you guys can see what he said. But for me I actually view this as some exciting news because I've only been selling on eBay as a full time seller for about two going on three years. And I've been selling on the eBay platform since 2008. So I've been on and off of eBay uh, for a very long time. So I have a decent amount of experience on that on the platform itself. But I do think uh, I view this, and maybe it's just me being um, overly optimistic as I usually am when it comes to business and entrepreneurship. I just think for me, getting a new CEO would just bring in some new life some new vigor, some new flavor into eBay because it desperately needs it at this point. I think eBay is one of the one of the best platforms to sell on, period. I know I put out a lot of uh, content about Poshmark because Poshmark is new for me and it's still exciting for me to just share, uh, share the journey in terms of Poshmark. So I know a lot of my viewers are predominantly Poshmark sellers, but eBay has been and probably will continue to be my uh, favorite platform to sell on. So for me, getting news about the CEO resigning, I don't view it as negative. I don't view it as something I should be worried about. And I don't think anybody else should be worried about it as well. Because the thing with, for me, I, I view eBay, it has a lot of improvements to be made and a lot of changes need to be made in order for it to continue to be successful and bringing in a new CEO, I think would be really beneficial for the platform. And I think especially just in terms of marketing. I don't really see eBay commercials. I don't really see eBay advertisements as much as I see Poshmark advertisements or as much as I see Macari advertisements for that matter. So I'm hoping with a new CEO, we start to see some new marketing tactics, uh, hopefully some new, new stuff happening on social media. But I do think um, we'll be able to at least see some more uh, eBay promotions and stuff like that. New things happening within eBay, with, within eBay. But um, as of right now, in terms of like the things that I think eBay really needs to focus on in terms of fixing, is really just their seller protection. Just this morning, I got off the phone with eBay, and basically, I got scammed out of about forty bucks. Um, I sold uh, some vintage software that was a brand new and sealed. It was an IBM software, and the buyer basically stole the discs out of it and returned an empty box. Now, this doesn't happen to me often, but it is something that happens just about on any platform. They're going to be shady buyers, shady sellers, and I'm basically just very fed up with dealing with shady buyers. Like I said, this doesn't happen often, but whenever it does, it always brings back the bad memories and, you know, the, the bad situations that happened in the past. And long story short, I called eBay, I got on the phone with them, I spoke with about five different customer service reps because usually that's something you have to do anytime you're, you're trying to get some answers. And I spent maybe about an hour, maybe an hour and a half going back and forth for a $40 case that eventually did not go in my favor and they basically just refunded that buyer the full amount of money and the only thing they were able to do was to make sure that I wouldn't get a defect on my account and I believe they refunded me the three bucks that I that I had to pay for shipping so that was like the one positive thing that they were able to do but at the end of the day I'm just gonna have to chalk that up as cost of business so I'm not gonna tell you guys that with a new CEO some new changes will happen where seller protection would be improved but I am happy of the fact that this this last CEO at eBay open he did say that they're gonna be trying to protect their sellers more prevent fraud and with that being said clearly they're still not making any headway on that so hopefully with the new CEO we'll be seeing some new changes and just some new developments in terms of eBay continuing to grow because I know I'm going to continue to sell on that platform so my hopes is that eBay would continue to grow continue to make some changes and make it more seller friendly because for a very long time one of the biggest complaints that I've seen way before I was a full-time eBay seller was the fact that eBay really just protects their buyers and they're very buyer focused but their sellers they can care less about. I've seen that comment several times on, ver on various forums, uh, various comment sections, I always see that. So drop a comment if you guys feel the same way because I'm pretty sure with this being uh, such a huge news headline that eBay people are going to be combing through the comment sections of all these videos that we, we put out on uh, about eBay. So definitely drop a comment. 
uh, drop any useful information you guys can have for the new CEO that would be coming into full effect once once the CEO resigns because I really do think that eBay has a lot of potential and a lot of room for growth and hopefully with some new direction eBay would be able to really capitalize on that and one thing that I'm hoping the new CEO does is take their foot off the gas in terms of this promoted listings because with promoted listings we I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing it I'm in I'm experiencing an increase of sales, right? That always say um, sold because of promoted listings. But as a result, I'm also paying more fees. So I see that eBay is trying to push and make more money from their sellers and make more money for the eBay business from their sellers. We all get that. We see what promoted listings is about. But at the same time, I, see, I think it's very problematic because it's one of those things that you know, if you're not using promoted listings, you would think you're suffering, but because you are using promoted listings, you're paying even more out of pocket. And last month, I've paid the most amount of money in fees that I've paid probably ever. That's just ridiculous for me. And as I, my business continues to grow, I've been sharing my journey with you guys when I was barely making anything on eBay and barely making anything on Poshmark. I've been trying to share the journey. And just over these last few months, I've been seeing a, a very huge growth in sales but of seeing a huge growth in paying fees as well and it's really just because of these promoted listings so i'm hoping that the new ceo uh does something differently it switches things up just a little bit in order for sellers to feel more comfortable continuing selling on the app because as we all know there's there's poshmark there's macari there's depop and of course the the behemoth there's amazon and for me i know one of my goals was to get more familiar with the amazon app and after some new developments and just just having to deal with this situation this morning it's it's motivated me to of course at least get more familiar with amazon because i think one of the best things to do tell you guys this all the time is to not put all your eggs in one basket sell on ebay sell on poshmark sell on amazon sell on all of these different platforms at least learn at least become familiar with it and the main thing is to at least just bring in different streams of income mainly so that you so when these changes happen within these different platforms you're not going to struggle financially so that's definitely something to take away from from this video and from from my overall experience dealing with ebay like i said i'm still going to be selling on ebay i'm still going to sell on posh and by the end of the year i'm going to start selling more things on amazon as well because i think um ebay is is going to be heading in a new direction and it can be really really great or we can be getting a whole lot of the same and just in order to prepare yourselves for these type of things I think it's just best to just come in there with an open mind I'm not gonna say be negative and think the sky is falling but also just be very aware that the new CEO and his or her new goal might be to go even harder with promoted listings they might just want to be all about the money and care less about protecting their sellers so it's really up in the air as of right now of course I'll keep you guys updated once the new eBay CEO is announced and until then, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. As you guys know, I just got married, so I'm trying to just continue to put out as much content as possible just so I can get back on track. So if you guys enjoyed this one, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Interest rate is lower, ain't it? Beside the auction off a bid.